No, I'm actually laughing so well, I guess. Ah, who did it again? Wait, do you really do this walkway? No, I don't even know what I'm doing. I honestly, I don't really know. I'm, I'm really trying to just naturally come into the screen. <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry. Listen, <laughs> drawing to sit in. No, 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 I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Bells. And today in this vlog, we are actually going to finally see me cook something. It's not everyday prep, it's not everyday delivery, it's not everyday, yeah, something else that is not my own cooking. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Oh my days, I don't know why I'm a bit nervous. I've actually been pushing and doing this because I'm not the best cook, but we're gonna try, <laughs> like always. Also, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video, for sponsoring watching me cook for your entertainment. Let's get into what I am cooking today, as well as how I'm doing it, and we're gonna do a taste test. I've got Kaz behind the camera who will also be ensuring this tastes good. They can see your fingers, yes. <laughs> so if you guys didn't already know about HelloFresh, HelloFresh is a leading recipe box with fresh ingredients, as well as different varieties to suit your dietary requirements with free subscription, as well as free delivery. So I'm very excited to get started. I'm gonna show you guys how it comes in a box. It comes with packages for the recipes you choose. And the one I chose is the prawn and chorizo spaghetti. Oh, very exciting. I love that it's less waste as well as controlling portions so I don't go over how much I need and it's all ready and there ready to go so I don't need to go to the shops, I don't need to buy anything else, it's there and I can get started as well as instructions, how long it takes. So let's get started into making this. super easy to make very straightforward very much what I would have on a regular day as well I'm very I love pasta I love carbs um, as you can see I'm getting thick can you see can you see anyway um, I'm gonna get some two forks I'm gonna get two forks one for me one for Kaz come oh dear oh dear oh no oh no we're gonna have a bit of a try see what we think about my cooking she's literally just been sat there watching me <laughs> No, she's done very well. Minimal help. You're, she's actually, you actually cook, don't you? I mean, yeah, perhaps, yeah. Yeah, she cooked. Well, God bless the spoon. Well, yeah. but anyway, yeah, same man, please. please <laughs> we please, need please, to bless the spoon. All right, you go first. Are we doing the same time? Wait, what, what have you got? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to grab some sweets, so. Oh, yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, how am I going to? Okay. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna taste the vinegar. I'm gonna taste the vinegar. And the Chip spice, things. yeah. I like the spice. I like it. I like myself. That's good. good. Decent. Mm hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That was quick as well. Let me get myself another drink. I'm going to do it. I was gonna say some, but. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, one for me. One for you. No, they all did good. So for your own HelloFresh box, the link will be down below to get 50% off your first fresh box, as well as 35% off your next three boxes with the code BELLA50, which will be up on the screen as well as down below. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna finish the rest of my food and I will catch you guys in this week's vlog. Hello guys, this I'm girl in has here. Tiffany. 
no, 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 it was really you. It was really you, and now we're both buying something. We're buying something. What's that guy on TikTok? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, how can you not yeah, do it? Best this deserves, guys. Don't you think? Show me. Very cute. Yeah. Oh, my Hello, so the damage. Sorry. Wow, well, we will show you guys what we went up to. Oh, what we got? Thought. I've got a scratch on my face. You know, I've got, been waking up with scratches in different places on my body. Yeah, that's happened to me a few times. What, what is that? Do you uh, know first of all, someone's either being a witch or your nails. <laughs> I think it's my nails, you know. Yeah. I scratch mm -hmm. myself. I must scratch myself in my sleep. Yeah, yeah I've got scratch my I've face, done. scratches on my back, scratch on my stomach. Yeah. It must, but my nails are sharp. They are they scratch. sharp, sharp? Not too sharp, but they're sharp that they can they see the scratch. Yeah. yeah, it might be that. Anyway, talk to you guys in a minute. Cheers, now it's time to eat. Yeah. Look yes, at us. Yeah. Look at us. guys it's been a minute since i've spoken to you guys i'm with your favorite person the person that oh. everyone thinks is so funny Get up with some news, you gotta that was even my phone call. I don't know. That was your phone. Someone on my Instagram said that I need to put more videos of Addis so they can be funny again. They were very rude. I was very tempted to literally do this and be this type of couple where I don't show him because I'm there for the funny one in the relationship. But you know, fun. It was just, what, what was said, huh? Problem. What? Problem. I mean. Okay. Nothing was said, okay. I don't need to talk about myself. <clears throat> the people talk for me, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, we are doing a little mini road trip. We're just going to his house. He needs to get some things, so. We're off. Got my hair done by NHN Hair. So, so lovely. This is different style. I'm like kind of getting used to like it braided in the front and like a part in the back. I did say it looks like it's half done. It does. Without, you know, respectfully. I just haven't seen it before, respectfully. You know, I hear it. Do you know what it is? Is it because it's the braids are all the way down here? Do you, do you think if it was like it went out here? You got half braid, half unbraid. Yeah, no. Wow, that's it. It's half half that's braid, it. half weave. Maybe no, maybe. Do you know what it is? Do you know when they do the twists and then they stop here and it goes into the hair? He's just concentrating on the direction, so we're just gonna leave that here. But anyway, hope you guys are doing well. There has been nothing to vlog because taken many L's. People cancelling on me, plans, not even plans, but like plans I had to do for like video, filming, content, everything. Wi-Fi was down once again in my flat, whole outage, finally got it. I've been in disarray, but it's fine. So yeah, um, I will speak to you guys probably later on tonight. I'm gonna just do this quick, quick road trip and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Good morning guys, so okay. I can't be too loud, at his he's in a meeting, but I'm like, I want to get started with my day and vlog, because I haven't been vlogging. But anyway, I'm not playing with this hair products here, let me just take this. So obviously the weekend, I haven't really like vlogged just because things going wrong, but I also always like to have like somewhat of, like I aim to have somewhat of a storyline of like vlogging and I think that's a really um, good tip for other people that are vlogging. If you're vlogging have somewhat of a storyline or if you're doing things keep people interested and updated and let them know what's going on just so they can work out and it's easy to follow. So when I feel like a vlog isn't easy to follow it stresses me out. <laughs> it's so pathetic but it stresses me out because it's like I can put videos together and slap it on and put it out but it, it, it loses that sort of like keeping someone entertained because it's like 
what are they watching? It, it easily becomes like a background noise because it's like what they're watching isn't really making sense. So that's that's why I didn't really vlog this week because it was like bits and bobs and I wasn't doing it properly. And especially when, when things aren't going right in my life, the vlogging, it's just too much. But yeah, I'm here today. I think today we'll just do an easy morning. I haven't had anything to eat. I've just washed and got ready. Um, I'm gonna tidy up a little bit because the house is it's, it's not that messy, but it's just organizing. I'm gonna take you guys to my beauty slash office room and show you. It's a bit it's disorganized because once again, oh my god, sorry. Um, okay, so basically, I'm waiting for to get all the products from IKEA because remember the boxes that were here for months. They finally took them. It, uh, they finally took the boxes after like literally me complaining for three months and they'll give me a date they wouldn't come and collect it give me a date they wouldn't come collect it at one point they gave me um because at the time when i moved here my billing address was still the address with ade where i lived when, when i was living with him and ikea went to my billing address to go collect boxes and i'm just like why did you like they're just, they're just i wouldn't recommend working with them working ordering from them i'm going to order for them now because it's like i've got wardrobes and i'm not going to go to a different brand a different wardrobe but now it doesn't make sense and then i've got stuff for my office room but yeah you'll see because i had a whole vision and i was just like i'm just gonna get what i need for my key of course everything right now is out of stock so i have to be patient um but we're still gonna organize everything in my room anyway once i is done with his meeting for now um i'm just gonna make myself some instant coffee you guys know me i love an instant coffee and now that i'm not going on no more holidays i'm done <laughs> i'm holidayed out holiday whilst also being in the process of moving Ooh. and i'm not the best person at planning things and being that organized disarray but yeah and it's come his stuff is even over there gosh um i always tell him you can leave stuff here but he just doesn't I'm not on my white walls Oh my gosh, and I've also got some unboxings to do. We have some homeware unboxings, luxury, luxury unboxings, and some jewelry unboxing that I haven't unboxed and I want to do it in front of you guys. I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I haven't tried, I haven't worn any of my stuff because we went to Tiffany's. Also got some gifts from Fendi, um, and I haven't, I haven't tried it on, so it should be very exciting. Anyway, let me enjoy my coffee. I'll chat to you guys in a little second. Hey, what about dating? What's, what's, what are you doing during the day today? Nothing. What, do you want to go get content? Um, not really. <laughs> After the final challenge, you're going to be going onto one of the most legendary radio shows in the country. Kenny We're watching rap game and Ade would much rather prefer working like this instead of a desk that I have. You don't have a TV. Your TV isn't even in your room like that. What did you plug over there? This last challenge, we want to ask to show their full creative potential. So Five six. That is so ugly. Oh my god, I'm taking it off now. Think about your question. Ew! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that is and if that is disgusting. It's not my setup. It's your house. No, but I put nothing there for a reason. In fact, I need to get. I don't know what to cover. Guys, help me. <laughs> Sorry, hideous. I genuinely feel like Ooh. my energy has kicked in at the right time. There's no going Are back now. Right? Like I just have to come harder than I did before. Hideous. Oh my gosh. Which one's the plug? In fact, I didn't even plug it in. Each week, we give the artist feedback after their performances and their rankings. But these one to ones are a chance for the artist to ask us any questions that, yeah. and for us to give them some advice when they write it. So, here is my beauty slash office room that I just need to get sorted. Um, so it's not that messy, I mean it's messy, but I can sort this out pretty quickly. You know what, I was even speaking to everyone on the phone, so let me call her back whilst I sort out this room and then I can actually do the unboxings that I have here. Where am I going to balance my phone? Bitch, I was legit just on the phone. Rude. Let me just place 
some music. Child, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. <laughs> ordered some storage so I can actually put all my filming equipment away all of that is filming equipment and this is what I'm about to unbox for you guys I'm very excited a lot of it's to do with the redesigning behind because it needs to look better for when I actually film so yeah I've got my like little little I've got an iMac so that's gonna go on this side so I have like a computer desk so I can actually edit emails all of that like you know be a little boss bitch babe Everything is from Ikea, by the way, if you see the table, the chair, everything behind Ikea. So, what should we do? Should we unbox what I got recently? Okay, I brought you guys closer. Sorry if you guys can hear the noise from behind. Um, there's always construction going on, always. So, so I got a lovely little dun -dun -dun bracelet. Like, you can't see it here, can you? But I wonder how you open it. Yes, you open it like so. And it looks like this. And it's quite similar to my Dior bracelet. Like the O, oh, the um, all new diamonds. Um, obviously not real ones. And then this is a bracelet. So I don't know, do I want it, do I want it to go like this and like have stackables? I think I prefer it on this hand. The construction is actually driving me crazy. Oh my gosh. Don't know if you guys can hear it as much as I can, but it's so loud. I'll do this with no help. Got it on. So it looks like so. It's gonna be cute with all my bracelets. I really wish this one was tighter. This one's so loose compared to the rest of them. Oh, should I take the Dior one off? Cause it's not every day the Dior one. I might just interject, change them around. So sometimes I'll just have this one on and sometimes I'll have the Dior one on. I don't think I like them both together. Okay, all right, let's just continue moving. And then, it's so funny, basically, I also got something else from Fendi, but they got it in the wrong bag, and it's actually at Ade's. So, yeah, Ade has my other thing I got from um, Fendi, which is basically a ring, I got a ring. And then I went to Tiffany's. I should really do an unboxing for this, shouldn't I? Should I? I might just do unboxings later. Anyway, this is what I got at Tiffany's. My first little Tiffany's gift to myself. Let's open it together. Little Tiffany's. Oh, <laughs> here it is. How gorgeous this ring. How gorgeous. I saw it in the store and I was just like, I have to have it and it fits perfectly on my little finger with my bracelets as well it's a little vibe I love it talk to me nice so that's what I got from there I love this little box this little Tiffany's box I'm gonna cherish it but yeah I really want to get start getting more into jewelry because I really like it but of course it's it's not um, cheap, so I have to really. Oh, how did she wrap it? I'm upset. Actually upset. I want to wrap it. How she wrapped it? Okay, I can't do bows to save my life. Like bows, like she did it. Close enough. Cute box. I'm keeping it. Tiffany's box. Hello. I'm really happy. But I really wish my other ring was here to show you guys. Really liked it. it Would have looked cute on my either hand. It's okay. Not the end of the world put everything back because I might just do an unboxing. Okay, let's, let's undo everything. I have an idea what I got, but you know you just forget at the same time. Okay, so I got one book which is very, very small. I really should have checked the measurements. Okay. I like the colour of it, it's like very, I wanted to go for neutrals basically. 
for the background. So I was like, I don't know what I want to have, I want to design it, and I don't want to regret anything. And I don't feel like you can regret things when you go neutral. Where did this is a go? Okay, that book is very small. Um, if not, I can also go on my side table, on my living room, or in my bedroom, so that's fine. I make use of shit. I hate returning stuff. Okay, what is this? What is this? What is this, honey? What is... Uh, I hate styrofoam. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I got this little sculpture. I'm planning... Oh, I really wanted to put it on top of a book. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just have it on its own. Lovely. Links for everything will be down below if you guys are interested. Price on here? No. But I liked it. I don't think I'm going to put any flowers or anything on it because it'll just be really widespread, but I've stuck it on its own. And then I got this. Um, boxes smell. Is it just me? I don't like smell of boxes. Oh, okay. I also got another sculpture. Which I've actually been seeing around. It's a lot more expensive. I saw it in the Selfridges. It was like £400. But this one... Literally just the most plain sculpture. Could I have them two together? Oh, I'll make it work. I've got like books and stuff. Literally the plainest thing, but it works for behind the behind my office on the shelf. All these boxes. And then I picked up some books. So for I went to OBS Oliver. Link, they'll be linked down below and they do like fancy luxury books. You know, like designer, like looks and stuff. Like, I don't know what vibe I want to go for, so they were a good help. <laughs> oh, it has a personalized message. Well, the shortest one. Handwritten. It says, Dear, it doesn't have my address anywhere. Cool. Dear Isabella, thank you for your purchase. Best wishes, Izzy. Izzy was actually like my school nickname when I was younger. Um, funny enough. But yeah, I picked up three books, I'm going to show you to you guys, hopefully you like them and hopefully they work for behind the scenes. Okay, so, I can feel one book. Let's hope I don't get this over there. Yes, so one book by a brand called... Is it Ashley I hope I'm saying it correctly. I was, I'm actually collecting these books in places I'm going to or places I want to go to, but these books just the color scheme just kind of went well for the room i wanted little pops of color everywhere but not too much and i really like this i'm going to stack things on top of it or leave it alone depends on how i feel and um yeah this one's the athens riviera i like the colors colors went neutral but pop of color and i like the books i'm a very visual person i love visuals i love pictures i love videos i love all of that so i like things so yeah, that's going to be fun. I like looking through these books. I have like, I have another one. So all together I've got five. So I'm, I'm actually collecting them unintentionally. There's another one. Yes, and this one is the, which one is this one? Important Bliss. There's this one. Once again, like the colours. Oh, I'll probably stack these two together. Can you guys see them here? It works, it works, it works. I'm happy, I'm happy. I need to get this room sorted so I can really start filming. Like everyone thinks, well, not everyone, but people think I don't do makeup anymore. And it's like I do, I just, you know, this room has been difficult to try to figure out how it's styled and I wanted to like the room. Oh, it's giving me vacation. I love this book. Oh, lovely. I just love these books, man. I actually just love them. I'm such a visual person. Oh, this is me in a book. Perfect. So yeah, I'll probably stack these two on top of each other. Make that vibe. We're going to organise it and see how we feel. And then I've got one more book, which is a big one. It's a Cartier. Can you see it? I saw this one in Selfridges when I went with a, um, I don't know, when I went with um, Cass and I loved it. And it's a big size, oh my god, I'm really making a mess. It's 
some Cartier book. Once again, pop. I'm reading lots of pops of colour unintentionally. But I think I might have it this way so it fits my room rather than the other way. I know that's not where the book is, but it just goes better with my room. I like the cover more than I like the book. I even have the Rihanna book. I'm like, oh, I love Rihanna. I don't regret buying it, but bro, I wish I got it in like maybe a different colour, the black one. That's so expensive. It's like 500 I love Rihanna, but not like that. <laughs> okay. This book. Jewels, jewelry, jewelry. Once again, visuals. I like looking at things, I like taking things in, a bit of writing. But yeah, this one I can't lie. It was more so because of the book. It just looks really nice. And I didn't want to get like the, you know, the normal Tom Ford or one of these other books. I don't know, Chanel's. They're nice, but I wanted mine to be a little bit more different, especially for my room. We have this so i'm gonna try organize it and see how i feel i'm back so organizing this has been a lot harder than i thought it would be um at least i have somewhat of an idea of i guess how i want it to look so i'm going to show you guys the areas where i think i've got it i think i know how it's going to be and it's going to stay like that and then the rest mm. okay so i think i want it like this for this side I like the H&M sculpture with my Baccarat candle and the Cartier um, book. I think it goes really well together. Simple, minimal. I'm going to get those little things to cover up all these dots. Don't mind that. I hate them. So they're going to go soon. And then underneath, I've got my perfumes. And I kind of wanted the ones in the front to be complementary to the book. So it kind of like blends in, right? So I guess I'm going for a neutrals gold type of thing. So that leads me to here. I think this is okay. It's a little cold. I don't really mind mixing golds and silvers. That doesn't scare me. I can do that. I just need something else here. Maybe this was a gift. It's lovely. I just, I don't know. Does it go? No, it doesn't. Yeah, this one, I, li I like this together, but I think next to it is a bit confusing. So maybe I might move this around. I mean, I still got stuff coming in, so it's fine. We're gonna see, oh, sorry, my ring, sorry. My ring and my nails are really giving me a vibe. Anyway, we're going to see what we can do with here. Same as this. Um, I just put it here just for now because I'm like, I just need to fill it up and see what idea I want. I think I, this is the height I want to go for. No, no taller. Just so it like blends and blends here. And then these books I absolutely love. Um, I just need to figure out, maybe I've got a sculpture that can go on top of this, so it gives it more height. It's just a bit too low for me. So sculpture, maybe I might put this in the corner down here. Yeah, I've still got a few more bits coming in. I might do a bit more shopping now that I have a better idea. But yeah, I think my side that I'm probably not gonna change is this one. I like it, I like how it looks. This needs a bit more work, a lot more work. This one, I was just like, let me not even force anything because it's going to annoy me. But yeah, I'm also going to get lights underneath, so um, it's going to be more brighter. More brighter? It's going to be brighter when I actually get my lights. But yeah, um, before I pull my hair out, I will end this video here. Hopefully the next vlog, it will be a bit more put together, find more things. But I'm glad I've got two out of six. I just need to finish off the rest. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching. It's very chill, very in my life, very realistic what I get up to. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.